So now that we've gone through and listened to some TED Talks and talked about the idea of how we can improve our practice by integrating um, technology, I wanted to also draw some connections between the social emotional learning um, and technology. Um, one of the big changes that we've had in education uh, at the federal level is actually the addition of social emotional learning standards and really trying to integrate that more into, um, you know, teacher training programs, school districts, um, day to day teaching. And uh, so I just wanted to define, first of all, what that is. So it is um, social emotional learning supports academic and life achievement. So it helps students actually improve their quality of life uh, because they are. Um, able to um, have better relationships. They um, are, are the school culture improves because they're getting along better. They're being involved more, that type of thing. And the specific, some of the specific skills around this are um, communication skills, collaboration skills, problem solving, persistence, decision making, and of course, empathy. Um, and so one of the things that we have decided in the, in the education field is to explicitly teach these types of skills within the school environment. Uh, different schools and districts will do this in different ways. There's some, um, a lot of uh, um, uh, agencies are actually putting together curriculum and um, packaging, you know, the SEL um, uh, curriculum and support for teachers. Um, but this is just something that you want to be thinking about as you're always planning your lessons. Um, and then there's the technology piece where, you know, we're improving our 21st century skills. We're getting ready for college and career. Um, we're helping students think about how they can be active members of um, society once they, once they leave high school as well. Um, and one of the areas that they have been doing this is uh, with gaming. And um, so gaming, it, you know, there's a lot of skills that it takes to be successful in gaming. And one of them is analyzing problems without necessarily having any instructions. Um, also communicate findings to others. So going sometimes across borders, sometimes across time zones, but, um, you know, working with others, uh, you know, on the different chat rooms and whatnot. And then, of course, technology skills. So there's there's coding, but there's also problem uh, solving and critical thinking skills in some of these um, uh, more technologically savvy um, games. And then, of course, there's critical thinking and decision making. Um, how will you get to the next level? How will you, um, you know, possibly play with other teammates around the world to make sure that you're able to get to the next um, uh, big uh, accomplishment within your game? And so now I want you to go through and I've picked out some different websites um, that I would like you to go and explore. So, um, and when you're going through and exploring these websites, you'll see that um, Classroom Inc. is actually, uh, there is, they've got a lot of stuff for middle school. Um, and so you can, you'll be clicking on that icon and two of the games that they have, one is called After the Storm, the other one is Community and Crisis. I want you to take a look at how they form that. They've got some little videos so that you can kind of see how you could use it in your classroom. But I really like how this, um, how this group, um, I, I believe they're a nonprofit, actually came together and said, okay, well, how, what skills do we want students to learn um, around the social emotional learning? And then how can they do that in real time and in an interactive and engaging manner? Brain Pop is, um, they actually have different levels, uh, but I often see this being used, especially in elementary schools. So they actually have, I put three of their sub sites here. Um, there's the regular Brain Pop, and then there is um, Brain Pop Junior, and then Brain Pop for ESL. Um, this is the Educator's Brain Pop um, link, so those are all there. And then they, there's the Common Sense Education, um, and there they even have some blogs on um, social emotional learning. Um, and um, so I would just like to know which website could you potentially integrate into your classroom, how and why?